Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And in this screencast I want to show you some of the cool features of the default file manager PCMan FM under Lubuntu 11.10, but those tips are mostly also applicable to Lubuntu 11.04 or 10.10 .10 and all the other desktop distributions that ship PCMan FM as file manager as it has some really really cool features. Some of the features that I will show you might be very obvious, they might be very easy to learn or you might already know them, but some of them are really really cool and really really tricky and I did not know about them until I uh, tried them l recently. And yeah, I will just start by opening up the file manager by clicking on this file manager symbol here which will open up the file manager PCMan FM. I think you're very familiar with the look and feel you have. Uh, on the left you have your places where all your bookmarks are stored, your file bookmarks basically to folders and files. You have some standard bookmarks like your home directory, like your desktop trash and applications and some other bookmarks as you can see here. The default ones are documents, music, videos and downloads. And you have your, of course your folder here, your main folder, which is in this uh, case my home folder as you can see here in the address bar and yeah I can just basically uh, work with files by double clicking it and it will open up in the appropriate um, program. So one of the main things or one of the main features of PCMan FM it allows you to open up tabs instead of new windows like in uh, other file managers. So you can just, with, with, without cluttering your desktop, you can just move one file to a specific location. For example, I have a documents folder here and I have a txt folder in here. And I now want to just copy this file to my documents txt folder. What I can do is just press uh, right click on my documents folder and it gives me the option to open a new tab and this will open up the documents folder in a new tab. I can go to txt's here. I can just go just like uh, navigating in a web browser, go to my another tab here with my home directory and then I can just drag this to uh, another tab, to the texts uh, tab and I can drop it here. As you can see from the mouse cursor it will move this file from my home directory now when I'm uh, just dropping, dropping it here to the txt's folder. If I want to copy this file I can just press Control, and as you can see the mouse cursor has changed to a plus symbol and that indicates that I'm now in the copying mode. So if I drop it here you can see it will copy this file. As you can see here I have this file here in my txt's uh, folder and in my home folder. So this is basically copying files. But there are other methods to copy files. One of the also very known method is just right clicking on uh, my file, click on copy, click on txt's, right click, paste and uh, I'm done basically. The other option and this is I think the very very clever option built into PCMan FM, it allows you to copy files to a specific location and this is very very interesting especially if you are not sure where you want to copy your file. You can just go to edit here and then just go to copy to. This will open up an yeah, please select a folder dialog box which allows you to have some special locations just like the recently used folders. So if you have some recently used folders, for example for one week ago you have worked on one icon theme for example in some obscure file directory you don't remember where you put those files and you want to just yeah, add another icon to your icon theme you can just find this folder or directly copy this file to this folder by going to recently used files in here. Also notice that you have a search box or search field here in the places bookmarks and you can th then just search for a folder in your hard drive to copy the file to. This is really really handy and nice tool and by the way it's not only for copying as you can see here in the edit menu it is also for moving files. So if you click on move to here it will open up the same dialog. So this is really 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 a cool feature. Another feature also not so much known um, 
is the feature that you have network access in your PC FM. I already showed you some of the network accessing methods. One of the yeah, commonly used or most used network access me method is uh, under the Go menu. If you click here, you have the network drives bookmark. It is somehow not displaying in the places, which is sad. Perhaps this should be fixed somehow in the in future versions. But you can click here on Go and then go to Network Drives and it will then take you to your Network Drives and will list all your computers that are in your local area network, um, like Windows Network for example, and will list all your Windows computers that, that are available that have file sharing enabled. Uh, also some Linux boxes, if you have file sharing enabled here, will be in here and you can just connect to them. Another way would be just by directly typing in the address here. If you, for example, have an SMB share, a Windows share, you can just type in the address by typing in SMB and then the uh, IP of your, um, of your Windows box. The same works for Linux boxes with uh, SFTP. You can just type in SFTP. I will show you this. Then the username and the IP address of the computer. And if everything works out, you can s you get a password prompt in this case. You can set uh, to forget the password immediately or remember the password until you log out, which is very handy if you are connecting uh, multiple times in your session to your um, to your uh, computer to your computer in the local area network. Uh, I type in the password here, and as you can see, I have a transparent um, access now on my uh, Mac Mini in this case, and I can browse uh, the files there. So this is a very handy feature. Another handy feature, which is also very uh, might be unknown to some of you. Uh, is hidden under the tools menu which allows you to open up the current folder in terminal which is pretty handy if you just want to execute one terminal commando um, in the current folder so just open here open it here up and you can just for example create a symbolic link of test txt to my public folder And as you can see now in the public folder, I have a symbolic link to my test.txt file. And this also works, of course, in other folders, just like the desktop folder. If you want to copy multiple files in here, if you want to extract something uh, without using the graphical user interface, you can just go to Tools, Open Current uh, Folder in Terminal, and it will open up the terminal. Another cool feature also under the tools menu, especially if you're working with um, system root directories, for example, if I'm going to my user share themes directory and I want to add a new theme in here, for example, or I, will I want to edit something in here, normally you need root rights. As you can see, if I'm clicking here, properties, and as you can see under permissions, the owner is root, the group is root, and the owner has read and write support, no one else. So the group not, and uh, other users, just like me, uh, have only read support or read support in this uh, directory. So what I want to do is to write something into this directory. I want to just go to tools, open current folder as root, and I can type in my password here, and it will open up um, the file manager pcmanfm as root in this case. You can see this uh, is indicated by this little uh, keys here, key symbol. You are in super user mode, which uh, says normally you are the admin, you are the root user now uh, within this uh, pcmanfm window. And you can just delete or just uh, create new folders and have write access basically on this folder. So this is this. Another very interesting thing, of course, is the option to just simply change the views of uh, different folders, especially of those folders which are very, very crowded, just like this one here. 
with many many different files it might be useful to choose another view just like for example the compact view which gives you a compact list basically of all the files if you want a little bit more information um, on your files you can just go to view and then detailed list view which gives you a detailed list of your files especially also with description size and modified you can right uh, left click here to sort them by modified for example you can see that they uh, got this grayish color so that you immediately noticed that they are um, now sorted by the modified or by, or by the date So this is the detail list view. If I go back to my home directory, change the view to icon view again. Uh, I have pictures folder in here. Oh, let's let's go to a um, folder <laughs> where there are some pictures. I think in the Lubuntu folder, yes, there are some images. Y you can see those images, those um, thumbnail views are a little bit small. So what I can do is just go to the view and then click on thumbnail view and as you can see it will make them bigger. Th so this thumbnail view is especially useful if you want to take a look at your picture folder for example with all your pictures in it. Uh, you have a nice big thumbnail view where you can uh, see basically the, the uh, m most of the details that you want to see if you want uh, to have a quick overview of your images. So this is basically the usage or these are some of the features of the PCMan FM file manager under Lubuntu 11.10. I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.